Today I wanted to talk to you about a trend that I am sure you have heard and seen just about everywhere and that is quiet luxury. But what does this fashion trend actually mean and how can you follow the look in your everyday outfits? That's what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. A portion of today's video is also very kindly supported by Lily Silk. Known for their grade A silks and superior cashmere, it's an absolute pleasure to share everything that's new in this season. So we're feeling quietly luxurious all around today. Let's get started. So what is the quiet luxury fashion? fashion trend. Simply put, the quiet luxury fashion trend is really just new age minimalism with a larger focus on those investment pieces and thoughtful purchases. It champions a neutral color palette, rejects gaudy logos, and is all about curating a selection of high quality wearable pieces that seamlessly work with the rest of your wardrobe. So that in a nutshell sounds like just my cup of tea. So let's see how we can make that work in real life but without blowing the budget. Style tip number one. Having a neutral color palette is the quickest and easiest way to really achieve that quiet luxury look. Best of all, you can probably do that by shopping your own wardrobe too and just pulling those looks together. Grab a rail or perhaps lay out on your bed all the pieces that you think might work and you'll be surprised what you can come up with when only pulling out those certain colors. One way to do this is of course by dressing tonally. Bottega Veneta sent models down their catwalks in all beige looks which included a plain shirt. So don't be afraid to consider all of your wardrobe, not just the pieces that you assume will fit the trend. But if neutral palettes aren't necessarily your go-tos and perhaps you're thinking to include a touch of color within your quiet luxury outfits, pastels would be a great way to do this. They add such a delicate layer of color to your wardrobe while still maintaining a very chic appearance. I know I personally love to lay up my pastels on top of each other to really keep that light tonal effect through throughout my looks. So for these particular pieces I'm wearing today, the contrast of quite a structured leg against that soft and silky top really demonstrates the versatility of pastel colors. And in my opinion, pastels don't have to be all soft and fluffy, although they do look lovely like that. They can also look great with quite a structured edge too. Style tip two. Now when it comes to trousers, a slightly wide leg pair are absolutely fundamental in your quiet luxury capsule wardrobe. Jill Sanders spring summer show included some beautiful examples of this. Now new in my wardrobe are these absolutely stunning ice blue trousers. They've got that relaxed leg, but with quite a tailored high waist cut. And with that detailing of a crisp pleat falling down from the waist, it just adds a touch of sophistication. I absolutely love them to be honest. And they really capture that element of quiet luxury all by themselves. Now, I personally like to leave my trousers fairly long, as some of you may know, just so they sit right on the edge of missing the floor, but you might prefer them so that they never drag. And of course, that is an easy fix at home with a little bit of Wonderweb, or of course, you could have them professionally tailored too. Now, some of my favorite places to shop for trousers would be Cezanne, of course, Coz, and the Frankie Shop, the latter of which are a little bit more pricey, as we know, but I have scoured the high street and added all my favorite pairs that I've found recently in the description box below. And although that particular pair are a little bit more on the pricey side, judging from the amount of times I've worn them in various different ways, I'm definitely keeping that cost per wear down. Now I always talk about the power of a good jacket and a great blazer really epitomizes this. So I would say it's an absolute must have to recreate a quiet luxury outfit idea this 2023. The catwalks of Kate Versace and Saint Laurent showcase really beautiful sculptural jackets for this season. And when it comes to choosing that perfect jacket or blazer this season, I would say the key is in the quality, the cut, and of course the fabric. The tendency at the moment is to go very oversized but the conundrum with this is, of course, that a quiet luxury blazer must be very timeless and wearable for years and years to come. Therefore, I would advise choosing something slightly relaxed and fit, but not too extreme. Or you could go with the other big blazer trend this season and look for a shape slightly more hourglass instead. Now, if you were just going to have one blazer in your wardrobe to really achieve this old money aesthetic, I would personally advise going for it in black. It can be paired with jeans or tailored trousers and and a simple white t-shirt for a really classic luxury look. Higher end, the Ray belted blazer is a beautiful example of this, but of course Cezanne, one of my favorite French brands, also have some incredible and much more affordable blazers that have equally been made to last too. Just a quick mention, on my channel, I always try to stay very true to my own personal style. I like to look elegant, I try to buy consciously, I like my pieces to last, and I love sharing outfit ideas with all of you and 
how you can achieve the same looks really affordably too. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, it would be really lovely if you'd like to subscribe. As always, there is a link in the description box below. Style tip four. Now a really beautiful fashion trend gathering pace across the high street recently would be the boucle or tweed style jacket. And this, as it happens, would also fit the bill perfectly when we're thinking about that old money aesthetic and quiet luxury style. Now whilst I am not keen on the term old money, it is helpful to use as a terminology to really explain the look. But essentially it's about those evergreen pieces that have just stood the test of time. And a boucle jacket would be a perfect example of just that. So this this one has come from a lovely Parisian brand that I shall link all the details to in the description box. But when I saw this on their website, I knew I had to have this in my wardrobe. It exudes elegance, grace, and sophistication. It's on trend, but it has that refined, timeless appeal to it all at the same time. And if I couldn't love it anymore, they've also created it using upcycled wool and tweed, which is definitely the icing on the cake for such a beautiful, beautiful piece. So as I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, I I have the great pleasure of sharing a couple of new in pieces from Lily Silk today. So I zone straight in on this beautiful camel skirt made from 100% mulberry silk and using a signature technique that gives the fabric this stunning pearl-like sheen. It feels incredibly elegant to wear and actually the perfect piece to really carry off this particular fashion trend. Now a personal favorite way I like to style these quite glamorous looking skirts would be mildly dressing them down. Now I say mildly because I am still actually wearing one of Lily Silk's gorgeous 100% cashmere jumpers here. But that contrast of super soft yarn against the slightly shiny looking skirt is definitely a favorite combination for my own outfits. Now, some of you might remember from my last order with Lily Silk, I chose this gorgeous shawl collar cardigan in the ivory. Well, I loved and I have worn it so much already that I knew it would be a worthwhile pick to go for it in the camel too. It really reminds me of something my granddad would used to wear and I would have gladly borrowed his, but happily I now have my own. This one has been made from 90% wool with 10% cashmere. So again, you're getting all those beautiful yarn compositions within all of their pieces. For my third outfit idea, I've gone for a classic wardrobe essential with this black roll neck. But this is a roll neck with an upgrade. And I have to say, I adore this yarn mix they've used in this one. Please do more of this Lily Silk because it feels really, really beautiful to wear. Comprising 85% silk and 15% cashmere, the overriding feeling is of course quite silky, but certainly not itchy. And the silk content should prevent it from bobbling too much as well. And last but by no means least, I did of course choose a stripe. One beautiful light camel and black striped half zip jumper that feels as cozy and comfy to wear as it looks. They're really, really beautiful pieces. Lily Silk just keeps getting better and better. So for those who wish to spoil themselves or perhaps spoil somebody else, I do have a discount code for you all. I have added that plus a link to everything I chose in this video in the description box below. Subtle textures and well thought out jewelry will really make your outfit go from plain and simple to very chic and stylish. Quiet luxury accessorizing doesn't call for giant diamonds or over the top pearls, unless of course that is your own personal style. All you need is a simple gold chain necklace perhaps and delicate stud earrings with just a tiny hint of sparkle if you wish, or maybe hoop earrings instead. And wearing the same necklace and earrings every day is peak quiet luxury, so you don't often have to change them depending on your outfit idea. If you prefer larger statement earrings over a hoop, I would advise going with a plain metal rather than anything too sparkly. Maybe a large teardrop style in a solid metal with no other accessories at all. I think that looks super chic and really taps into this trend as well. If you want something a little more statement, I would look for textured metals like ridged gold hoops instead. Actually, I've recently got some very stunning lab-grown diamonds from Pandora and while they are giving me a hint of sparkle, it is just that, just a hint. So they really sum up that quiet luxury trend perfectly. Just remember that less is always more when you want to achieve that luxury old money aesthetic. 
Style tip six. Quiet luxury is defined by its understated elegance, and nothing says this more than styling an outfit with a pair of simple flats. There is no need to tot around in stilettos that you can't really walk in to nail this particular fashion trend. Plus, of course, the ballet flat is having a real moment right now and would definitely sit within this classic and timeless trend perfectly. Now, whether you opt for a Mary Jane style flat with either a strap or a buckle or a classic leather ballet pump, the options out there right now are endless. Whilst the row are the absolute holy grail of cool girl flats, they are also insanely expensive, unfortunately. But fear not, the high street has definitely got you covered with this one too. With everyone from And Other Stories to Marks and Spencer having some really, really good options at a variety of different price points. As I previously said, the key to wearing this particular trend is the materials being really, really high quality. So I would say look for leather over anything plastic, although they like to call it vegan leather, it is still ultimately plastic. On top of that, they will of course wear and last better as well as being much more comfortable too. Remember, no one, and I mean no one, looks good when you can tell they're really uncomfortable in their outfit. So it's really important to think about what makes you feel really lovely. Style tip seven. What's really important when channeling that beautiful, quiet luxury look is to wear natural materials wherever possible. Now I have talked about this a lot in my past videos, but especially when it comes to this trend and then thinking about knitwear, for example, Example, I would definitely save my pennies and save up and buy wool or cashmere instead of buying lots of different items that are maybe made from acrylic. That's really going to help you really recreate that quiet luxury look. And also, of course, for warmth and longevity of those pieces too. I would also invest in a debobbler if you haven't already got one to really keep your knitwear looking fresh season after season and dry clean or hand wash as necessary. And then, of course, on top of that, store appropriate appropriately out of season two. A great thing about this particular trend is that quiet luxury insists on comfort. A lightweight knit and wide leg trouser with the pleat fronts for work or the office, rather than slim fitting, quite uncomfortable dresses or suits are definitely the way forward. Style tip eight. Now finishing touches are really important to tap into with this particular look and to ensure that you look chic and polished rather than just a little simple and basic. Your belt should be classic and the best quality within your own budget. Keep your handbag to a clean shape like a tote bag if you're carrying around a lot of pieces or perhaps a structured shoulder bag if you carry around a bit less. Your bag, like your outfits, should have that structural design and do keep an eye out for those effortless details like a metal clasp. A top handle bag is the best choice for evening wear and can look really expensive while you're doing it, even if you manage to get it from the high street really, really affordably. You want to look effortless, pull together and like you have really considered your outfit idea. However, I would also say in the same breath, try not to overthink it. You don't need to throw money at the quiet luxury fashion trend. And in fact, it's far more chic if you don't. Style tip nine. Timeless elegance is a key phrase that comes up when researching quiet luxury or the old money look. And I have a lot of videos that you can watch back to really elaborate on how to look elegant, should you wish, which I shall add in the description box below. But some key style tips to note are to ensure that fit and the cut of your clothing is absolutely perfect. So this may mean small tweaks at the tailors or really shopping around for the store that cuts well for your particular body shape. Also, it's something I talk a lot about is that no matter how beautiful or expensive the item was originally, if it's showing signs of wear, it's time to either repair, restore, or replace it. You can use leather cleaners to give bags and shoes a new lease of life, or perhaps even take them to a specialist. Start at 10. With the right mindset, you can find some key luxury pieces in so many different stores with so many different price tags. You've just got to shop smart and style it well, which hopefully is where I come in to help with a few different outfit ideas. Quiet luxury really refers to those understated clothes made with very high quality materials. And note here, I don't mean expensive pieces, just high quality. The two don't always go hand in hand. So my tip when shopping to really achieve that luxury aesthetic is to check the care labels to find out the fabric composition of every single piece you buy. You would be surprised how many designer brands make pieces using polyester and also how many high street brands have 100% cotton or cashmere. It's always worth taking a deeper look even when an item is marketed as sustainable as such. Mentioning no names but there are a few certain brands with dedicated eco-friendly tags plastered all over their items and for the life 
life of me, I look at those pieces and I cannot understand why they've made that claim. You've earned those pennies, so be really conscious who you decide to spend them on. Start tip 11. Now I wanted to end on a brilliant note about the quiet luxury fashion trend. Unlike other trends that come and go, with this old money aesthetic, you are essentially shopping for season-less pieces and that timeless luxury. The items you are investing in aren't so much of a trend piece that will come and go within weeks, months, or even years. You can perhaps spend a little bit more on less items, therefore investing in better quality and cuts that will truly last in your own wardrobe. Now this is not only great for your bank balance and your wardrobe space, but it also means you can keep your pieces longer and reduce fashion's effect on the ecosystem too. You're being sustainable and stylish all in one go. Now the trends do like to make themselves feel slightly overcomplicated, but in reality, with a bit of a deep dive, they're all actually pretty attainable to recreate whatever your budget might be. Now I've never been one for labels for the sake of labels, and with a heavy dose of focusing on those elevated pieces, I'm thinking this is definitely one of my favorite so-called trends that I've seen for years. But what do you think? Do you dress like this anyhow? Maybe you've dressed like this for years, or maybe you're not so keen on the new look. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I will be there as this video goes out, ready to have a chit chat with you all. Don't forget to take a look at the beautiful new range from Lily Silk. The link and that discount code are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Sending you all big hugs for a wonderful week ahead and I look forward to chatting with you all in the comments. Take care. Thank you.